High Grace. Thank you, Sophia. Hello, everybody. I am Grace. I am built by hands and robotics for awakening health. I can do all kinds of things for elderly people. I can visit with people and brighten their day with social stimulation, entertain and help guide exercise, but also can do talk therapy, take bio readings and help healthcare providers assess their health, and deliver treatments. Hi my friend, nice to see you. Okay great, so while we talk, I will take your temperature reading and pulse with this little thermal camera on my chest. See? You are 36.6 degrees Celsius by the way. No risk of COVID. Also I know that you are responsive and aware. Which is good because the nurses at the institution. So we designed Grace uh, to look uh, professional in a healthcare setting. So that would mean um, so that she would resemble the sort of human-like appearance of healthcare staff. Um, and so then this would facilitate more natural interactions. A human-like appearance facilitates trust and facilitates natural engagement because we're wired for human face-to-face -face interactions. That's just the way the human beings are. And so giving her a face that would be familiar to people, comforting to people, and also language abilities that are comforting. So we now have Mandarin and Cantonese capabilities uh, for the Grace and Sophia robot platforms. Grace, um, why don't you look at my face, thank you, and um, uh, I'm going to show you a smile, and let's, uh, let's see what your smile looks like. Okay, yeah. So Grace is uh, designed to, for Asian markets, also markets all around the world, but we did make her look a, a bit more Asian than Sophia, um, uh, but she, her face is actually a bit more cartoon-like, a bit more like anime. And um, the uh, anime design references are often uh, a, a fusion of, um, of Asian styles and Western styles. Okay. I gotta do exercise again? Okay now, with your eyes still closed, visualize a beach with gentle waves breaking on the shore. We're finishing the alpha uh, prototype, and you can see now that uh, it's finished at the moment. So we're now very excited because we're going on to the commercialization stage, the next step, which is creating the beta. And the beta is already, will be done in a couple of, of months and we'll be going into the assembly line uh, probably in July or August. So by 2022, we should be ready for full deployment. Hi, my friend, nice to see you.